What up Marvel Legends fans, this is the obtuse angle here to go over the Hulkbuster from Marvel Legends and Toy Biz Legendary Riders Wave. This is a fantastic figure. You know, this is, uh, boy, if I had to put top 10 Marvel Legends, this might be there just on the sheer size. And guess what? The mask opens up. Uh, and uh, you have a Tony Stark. Now this is where I remember Marvel characters being. You know, uh, Tony Stark was like uh, slightly aged, gray hair. Uh, you know, one of the things that really annoys me about comics is they have a trend, especially DC to be honest with you, of uh, trying to make characters young, hip, cool. Like that's new Superman from 50. He looks like a complete douche. You know, he is a complete douche. But uh, anyway, this is the, uh, uh, forget DC for a second, this is my Marvel Legends Hulkbuster armor. And it is fantastic as you can already see. I mean, the paint is nice. Originally when the first show the figure is even more fantastic, you know, those promo pics and has like metallic paint. This isn't more metallic, it's more like glossy paint and the gold is still nice and all that stuff. But um, yes, this is a quick criticism review, this isn't a criticize. Absolutely nothing to criticize. After all these years, uh, Hasbro has never built a figure like this. You know, this is magnificent, and this wasn't even a uh, a build figure. This is a straight ten dollar figure. You know, that routinely sells on eBay for like sixty bucks. Damn those scalpers! Damn them! <laughs> they bought them all out. But I don't think they're scalpers. I think that actual people actually collected and just aren't interested anymore. But all in all, let's say a fine looking figure, fine paint job. Let me just get right to it. So as you saw, it can open and close. That's really nice. Nice feature. Close that to hear the pop. That means it's closed. These are flexible. These shoulder pads so it doesn't restrict articulation. His arm goes up and down. As you see, he has bicep swivel. Magnificent bicep swivel. He has a uh, very tight single joint elbow. Trust me, I don't break these things. So yeah, forgive me for this. You know, it's a very hard for you to get. Pretty pricey, you know. I actually did get mine on the second market, to be honest with you. And then we got this when it first came out. Uh, you know, school and college and things like that. So, anyway, it has a single joint elbow, but it can click a little further. So, it looks like it probably bend 90 degrees. Our wrists can go open and close. It actually has, uh, it rotates. I don't think it's wrist hinge, no. No, that's fine, though. It's a, such a big figure. Uh, these three hands clasp. The thumbs move up and down. Really nice thumb. The thumbs. Uh, it looks like this finger is a single. Oh wow, okay, right, never mind. The fingers have single joints, so they each move independently. Not all three of them have to move at the same time. So that's really nice. Why I didn't know that? <laughs> Still discovering things all these years later. It has a nice diaphragm joint as well as a waist swivel. It does ab crunch, ab crunch really far. Uh, well, ab crunch really far back. That's not really staying, but you get the point. There you go. And up crunches really far forward. Oops, the leg is giving out. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's actually, the joints are really tight. Still, all these are really tight, you know. When I got this on the second market like a few years back, it was still tight and still tight right now. And it has a uh, hip. Rotates right hip. Kicks out uh, that far. And it doesn't really go far back, but who cares. And it's... Double jointed. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. And uh, and it has a really nice ankle pivot. Okay, see that's ankle pivot there. Look at it. Wow, it's really nice. It bends really far either direction. And it goes uh, kicks up. Uh. It's probably one more click in there. I don't break anything. So there you go. And it has a toe joint there. So man, oh man, nothing to criticize at all, guys. It's such a fine figure. The joints are very tight. Still, all these years later, it's definitely worth forty bucks. If you get a forty bucks, take it. You know. Um. Yeah, that's it. That's a figure. That's perfect. A ten again. These toy biz guys. It's like man, they continuously like made great figures. You know, like. My criticism has where like using the same bodies and no paint jobs and it's just it's 
garbage, you know. These figures are fantastic. I just want to share a little bit more details before I end this review. Look at the these sculpted there, sculpted lines, sculpted lines, sculpt, 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 sculpt. Look how fantastic it is. Look at the back. Wow. All these are not painted, they're actually sculpted. Fantastic. You know, it's primarily two colors, but man, it's amazing, you know. It doesn't even have any shade or anything, but it's still so well done. Goodness, I'm blown away by this figure all these years later. And for a size comparison, here's my uh, build figure Mordok. So they were standing roughly around eight and a half inches, I would say, you know. I'm good at measuring if you get my drift. And this is a uh, Hulk. I forget what Hulk this is. It's an old school Hulk, but it's nice scale, I think, between these two. Really nice scale. Look at that. Boom. Damn you. Boom. There it is. There's a really nice scale. Ugh, they're fighting. Alright, guys, that's it. Take care. It's a figure. Peace. Share. Subscribe. Whatever. See you soon for some pics at the end, like I always do. Take care, guys.